Hi, I'm Jennifer Lee, Admin Evangelist, and this is How I Solved This. In today's episode, Zachary Banks will show us how easy it is to take a CSV file and load it into Tableau CRM, tie it to data in Salesforce, and then turn it into useful data shown in a dashboard in Salesforce. Hi, Zach. Hey, Jen. How are you doing? Good. So Zach, please share with us a little bit about yourself for those who may not know you and a bit about your Salesforce journey. Yeah, thank you for having me, Jen. Uh, my name is Zachary Banks. I'm currently a nine times certified Salesforce architect. I've been using Salesforce since 2015. I got started in my career uh, doing technical support and I moved on down to Austin, Texas, and they were also using a similar version of Service Cloud. And I went up to the director of support as any cocky 21, 22 year old would do and told them I felt I could make it better. And she said, prove it. So I quickly realized I need to upskill myself and I went to Salesforce Saturday and I proved myself and got promoted and here I am today. Great. And how are you involved in the community? Yeah, so I am a very active member of the Salesforce community. I go to my local Salesforce Saturday as much as possible, attend online events, but I also run the Austin, Texas Administrator Group along with two other awesome co-leaders. So (laughs) needless to say, I spend a lot of time in the Salesforce community. Now, I can't help but notice that shiny hoodie that you're wearing. So congrats. How excited were you to get that from Sarah Franklin? Oh, I was so excited to get that because it's. I think it used to be called the Awesome Admin Award. So just when you've heard about it for many years and then you're up on stage, you're talking about something random. And uh, I'll be honest, I, I didn't put two and two together that I, Everyone that goes on typically gets a golden hoodie. Did not put that together. Um, So I was very (laughs) excited and still starstruck. It was very well hidden from me. All right. Now, please share with us the business problem you're trying to solve. Awesome. The business problem I'm going to solve is oftentimes businesses have external data stored in many of these Uh, many different systems. Uh, So I'm going to be taking external data directly to your user's homepage by using Tableau CRM and Salesforce Lightning. Now, Zach, please show us how you solve this. Awesome. I'm very excited. So I am going to share my screen and show you. So I'm now in Tableau CRM, and I am going to click the Create button. I'm going to click data set and I have four different options available to me. I can import a CSV file, I can connect Salesforce data, I can load external data, or I can even use data sets that are already made in Tableau CRM. I'm going to use the CSV file. At a previous company, industry sales targets were stored in a CSV Excel file, meaning daily someone would be comparing targets in the CSV Excel file to Salesforce and any other necessary external systems. Not only would executives complain about not being able to take action on their data, it can be time consuming to have to export Salesforce data and compare it to these external systems. So I have this targets Excel file, which has two columns, an industry column and an annual target column. It just has a few different industries, and it also has a few different annual targets for those industries. I'm just going to drop this file into Tableau CRM and click Next. I'm going to give it a name of sales targets, so I properly name my data set. And I have an app called My Private App. That's the default app for anyone using Tableau CRM. Just think of it as a Salesforce report folder. I'm going to click Next. You see here the two columns are mapped here. You can see industry has an A next to it. That's because it's all text in the CSV, so it's going to be considered a dimension field, whereas annual target is all numbers, so Tableau CRM will consider it a measure field. That'll be important later on for when we're building dashboards. I'm going to upload this file. And Tableau CRM is really fast. This is going to be done in just a few moments. We can see it already 
moved on over to preparing the data set. Okay, I like that part. Great, so the data set is now created. So we have the sales target data set created in Tableau CRM. The next step is pulling in our opportunity data into Tableau CRM. To do this, I'm going to click Create. I'm going to click App. And then I'm actually going to use the Sales Analytics default app. The reason why I choose this is it's a great way to get started with Tableau CRM, as it already has many different sales dashboards built that your executives may like, but it also has the data sets built for opportunities, fully built out with all the relationships you can need with accounts and contacts. So I'm going to click Sales Analytics, going to click Continue, going to click Continue again. And you see here, I've created a few in the past. I'm going to click Create a brand new app because it's that fast. I'm going to click Continue. And you see here, before it starts, it's just checking a few things doing some system quality checks, if you will. I'm clicking looks good, next. For the purpose of time, I'm just gonna do basic configuration. I'm not gonna get crazy here. So I gotta name the app, sales target app. I'm gonna create it. And remember, an app is just a folder in Tableau CRM, very similar to your operational Salesforce reports. Okay, the app finished running. It only took a few moments to do that. The reason why I wanted you to use the Sales Analytics app was because you get all of these powerful data sets just created for you in a matter of minutes with all clicks and no codes. We're going to be using the Opportunities data set. So I'm going to actually click Create in the upper right hand corner, and I'm going to click dashboard. I'm going to create a blank dashboard. And I'm going to start creating charts from the two data sets. So I'm going to click Create Query. You could also think of this as Create Chart. I've clicked the sales target data set. And you see, I instantly get a chart created. I'm going to add a grouping to the chart. And I'm going to click that industry column. And so now we see there's one entry because it was a sales target CSV. I'm going to add a measure. And I'm going to say the sum of the annual target. There was just one value. So this is OK to do. But keep in mind, if you do sum, it'll add multiple values across industries. I'm going to switch this chart into a polar gauge chart. I'm going to do the same with create query, but this time I'm going to click the opportunities data set. I'm going to search for my industry field on opportunity. And I'm going to switch the measure, the bar length, to the sum of the amount. And I'm just going to drag and drop that right onto the dashboard. I'm also going to add a table so the end users can see all of their opportunities. I'm going to reorder the fields, but we can actually add all of the fields from the data set to this table. So I'm just going to move close state down a little bit more. Maybe I'll add opportunity owner first. I think that's good. I'm going to click done. And I'm just going to fix the spacing to fit the data to the widget. So it looks nice and pretty. So it's not a good dashboard unless you give it a title for your users. 
So I just dropped on a text widget and I am dropping in a name, to sales target dashboard. That way users know the purpose of the dashboard. Let's preview this just to make sure it's ready. Any dashboard I click is supposed to be filterable on other charts in Tableau CRM, but we see the chart on the left did not filter. This is because these are two separate data sets. On the right, it's pulling from Salesforce, and on the left is that CSV file we imported. Let's integrate them together. I'm going to go back into Edit, clicking the drop down in the upper right hand corner, and clicking Connect Data Sources. I'm going to click New Connection, and I'll be presented with the ability to integrate two data sources together. When I click Choose Data Source 1, you'll see the different data sets we have available on this dashboard. I'm clicking Sales Target, and I'm clicking Industry. And then I'm choosing Data Source 2, Opportunity. And I'm clicking Industry again. I'm going to give it a fast name. Now I'm going to close out of this window after saving. Now let's go back to preview. Great, it pulled up specifically energy. Let's save this dashboard and get it available to our end users. Okay, I'm logged in to the Sales Lightning app in Salesforce Lightning. You can see my homepage doesn't really have too much going on here. Let's change that for our end users. I'm going to click the gear in the upper right hand corner. And I'm going to click Edit Page. This will bring me to directly edit the Lightning page. We can navigate to new Lightning pages or even create a new page directly from here. For the purpose of this demo, we're just going to edit this default home page. And I'm going to search for Tableau CRM underneath the components. I'm going to click Tableau CRM, and I'm just going to drag that onto this dashboard. And it's already defaulted to the dashboard I built in Tableau CRM. But let's make that a little bit bigger for our users. Awesome. This seems like a good size for our users. So I'm going to save this. Remember, if you haven't activated your Lightning page, make sure you activate it. You can actually control whether it goes as the organization default, application default, such as that sales application, or you can even configure it to apps and profiles if you really want to control the visibility of who sees this dashboard. I've already assigned it as the org default. I'm going to go back to Salesforce. And look, my sales target dashboard is now directly exposed in Salesforce Lightning. They can quickly see the sum of the opportunities, and they can see their sales targets from that external data on the left. And when they click anything on the right, it'll specifically focus on the chart on the left and pull in relevant opportunities in the table at the bottom. And the sales users can directly action from all of these opportunities, open records, or logging different tasks. And that consists of my demo, Jen Lee. Thanks for showing us how easy it is to load a CSV file and then turn it into a very useful dashboard in Tableau CRM. Thank you, Zach, for being a guest on how I solve this. Awesome. Thank you again for having me. You saw how Zach was able to take a CSV file, quickly load it into Tableau CRM, integrate the data with Salesforce data for chart interaction, and display it on a Lightning record page. This was all done using clicks, not code. Thanks, Zach.
You can always find videos like this at admin.salesforce.com and also by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Salesforce Admins, so you never miss another episode of How I Solve This. Thank you and see you next time.